Hello guys, hope you have been having a great day. Uh, in this video, we will be learning how to derive a transfer function when a Bode plot is given. In the previous video, we have seen how to obtain a Bode plot when we are given a transfer function. In this video, we will be doing just the opposite. So, just look at the Bode plot which I have been asked in the question. I have um, the magnitude here, minus 20 and plus 20, 0. And I have been given two corner frequencies, omega 1 and omega, okay, omega is equal to 1 and omega is equal to 1000. So, uh, deriving the transfer function from a given Bode plot involves basically uh, just two steps or three steps as you can call it. So, the first step is to derive the corner frequencies. And as you can see, you can easily say from this Bode plot which we have been given that we have one, two, three, and four corners. So we will be having four corner frequencies. Omega is equal to one. This is omega one. So omega C one is equal to one, which is my first corner frequency. My second corner frequency is going to be this. So that is going to be my second corner frequency. Omega C two. And this is my third corner frequency, which is omega C3. And omega 4, or omega C4, or corner frequency 4, is omega is equal to 1000, which is already given. So these are the corner frequencies which have already been given. We need to find out omega C2 and omega C3. So, if you remember sketching the Bode plot when you're given a transfer function, how do you remember taking the scale? Do you remember taking it in, um, um, in terms of 10? Like, uh, you take 0 here, 10 to the next point, and the next scale you make it to 100, and the next to make it to 1000. If you don't remember it, I suggest you watch that video again, how to sketch a Bode plot when the transfer function is given, and if you do, you should be easily able to understand this step. I'm going to write out omega C2 is equal to 100, and omega C3 is, uh, sorry, is equal to 10, my bad this is equal to 100. So 1, 10, 100 and 1000. So omega C2 is equal to 10 and omega C3 is equal to 100. Now we have all the four corner frequencies. Step 1 done. Step 2 is to obtain the terms in the transfer function in both the numerator and the denominator. Now if you remember you must be uh, thinking that uh, now that we have four corner frequencies, we'll be having four terms. But on the contrary, you might have a constant term. Remember, while plotting the Bode plot, sometimes you took the constant in only the magnitude part. So to find out this constant term, which is probably out there, which is at a magnitude of zero decibels. So to find the constant term, which I'm thinking as k, I am just saying 20 log k is equal to 0. As you can see, 0 decibels, okay? So, now 20 log k is equal to 0, which means k is equal to 1. In our case, in this sum, the constant term is equal to 1. So, uh, even if you haven't found the constant term, it doesn't make any difference. So, but you would have to find out the constant term when you're uh, finding out the transfer function from Bode plot. So, the next terms are, uh, so uh, I'm assuming this as T1. Uh, I'll just write it down as T1 is equal to 1. Okay, so my next term is T2. T2 is the term in which the frequency in which omega is equal to 1 which means the frequency is 1 and the slope is going from 0 to minus 20 which means the slope is decreasing and remember when we when did we take a negative slope while plotting the Bode plot from a uh, transfer function we took a negative slope when the term is in the denominator so we write T2 is equal to 1 by 1 plus S. Uh, we know the frequency goes down, so omega C1, 
which is equal to 1 by 1 plus s since omega c1 is any wave 1 okay so now we have our t2 term 1 by 1 plus s now we need to find t3 t3 is the term which has the frequency omega c2 is equal to 10 at that particular frequency the slope has gone from minus 20 and it has gone to zero there is no change in the slope so which means the slope has increased from minus 20 to zero so t3 goes into the numerator 1 plus s into 1 by omega c2 okay now 1 by uh, sorry 1 plus s into 1 by omega c2 which is equal to 1 by s into 1 by what is omega c2 omega c2 is 10 so 1 by 1 plus uh, 1 plus s by uh, 1 plus s into 1 by 10 which is equal to 1 plus 0.1 s so we have t3 as 1 plus 0.1 into s now we want t4 Look at the diagram again. T4 is the, freq is the term where the frequency is omega C3 is equal to 100. So we have and uh, omega C3 is equal to 100 and the slope as you can see is again increasing. It is from 0 to a positive change. So it is a plus 20 which means it is again in the numerator. Okay. So there you go. T4 is... 1 plus s into 1 by omega c3 which is equal to 1 by s into 1 by what is omega c3 omega c3 is 100 so 1 by 100 now this is equal to 1 plus 0 0.01 s now we need to find out the last term which is t5 1 by s into 1 by omega c4 which is equal to 1 by s into 1 by what is omega c4 is uh, wait a minute wait a minute uh, omega c4 is 1000 but c you can see the slope changing from plus 20 to what is the slope here that is 0 so that means the slope the slope has gone from plus 20 to 0 which means there is a decrease in the slope by 20 so it changes this t5 will be a denominator term 1 by 1 plus so and so okay so uh, sorry my bad okay 1 by 1 plus uh, s into 1 by 1000 which is equal to 1 by 1 plus 0 0.00 0 0.001 s so this is the T5 term, the fifth term. Now we have all the terms from the constant to the last term we need. So uh, remember in the T5 term if you're confused there, we write the terms in the denominator when a slope has decreased from the previous point. In the first case we have uh, T2 we have written t2 a term in as a denominator term because the frequency has changed by minus 20 and in the same uh, the same thing goes with t5 it has gone from plus 20 to 0 which means the slope has changed by minus 20 and a negative means it goes to the denominator okay so now we have all the terms from the constant to t5 now step 3 is to put all the terms together now let us go through that we have k is equal to 1 so let me start writing the transfer function t of s is equal to the constant k is 1 anyway now t2 is 1 plus 1 by 1 plus s so 1 plus s which goes into the denominator and t3 is 1 plus 0 0.1 s so 1 plus 0 0.1 s and t4 is 1 plus 0 0.01 s so into 1 plus 0 0.01 s and the last term t5 is again a denominator term which is 1 plus 
0.001s. So this is my required transfer function which we have derived from that Bode plot which has been given in the question. Remember the constant term k is 1 otherwise you might have a constant here as well. So this is how you uh, uh, derive the transfer function from a given Bode plot in three simple steps. Step 1 is obtaining the corner frequencies which you can do it with ease. Step 2 is noting, noting what the terms are, finding out what the constant term is and remember a negative slope, a negative change in the slope means the term is in the denominator, a positive change indicates it is in the numerator and 1 by 1 plus s into 1 by the frequency okay so that is how you find out any term when you are uh, finding out the transfer function from a body plot so now once you have all the terms put it all together that is how you find out the transfer function from a given body plot hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching and have a lovely day thank you